Hi there, if you haven't already, take a photo or post a message on your Facebook page and the Camilla's Facebook page, and we'll show it here online. And remember, hashtag Camilla's Gala 2020. Good evening. Welcome to the 21st annual Hope for All Gala. Raise the roof. Camilla's House is a ministry of the Hospitaller Order of St. John of God. For this evening's invocation, please give a warm welcome to Archbishop Thomas Wensky. Let us pray. O oh God of mercy, we pray for courage in this time of pandemic. Strengthen those who are sick. Comfort those who have lost loved ones to COVID-19, and calm the anxieties of us all. In these days when many of us have had to shelter in our homes because of the coronavirus, keep us mindful of those who have no homes to retreat to, whose shelter might be a car or perhaps a cardboard mat under an expressway. While we distance ourselves to control the spread, may we not stand so far away from each other that we cannot recognize that behind the mask that obscures their face, there is a brother or sister joined to us in our common humanity. May fear not harden our hearts, but rather May our hearts be soft enough to hear the cry of the hungry and the homeless. And may our hearts be open enough to share our blessings with those in need. Amen. Welcome Camilla's House CEO, Hilda Fernandez and Camilla's House Board of Directors Chairman, Paul Lowenthal. Good evening, I'm Paul Lowenthal, Chairman of the Board of Camilla's House Board of Directors. On behalf of all the Board of Directors, we wanna welcome you to the Raise the Roof Gala. We hope you enjoy this evening. We hope you also bid a lot and bid high. Hilda? Hi, I'm Hilda Fernandez, CEO at Camilla's House. And on behalf of the staff, and the almost 1,700 clients we serve daily in our residential programs and hundreds more were able to serve thanks to your generosity, I want to say thank you. Enjoy the evening. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Well, hello there, and welcome to the 21st Annual Hope for All Gala. Are you ready to raise the roof? Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. My name is Lori, and I'm your Camilla's House Director of Special Events. And it's my great honor to say hello and welcome to some very special people who are viewing from home this evening. First off, from the Hospitaller Order of St. John of God, Brother Richard Moore, Brother Gary Hill, and Brother Matteo Fenzel, our fantastic Camilla's House Board of Directors, led by Chairman Emeritus Bob Dickinson, Chairman Paul Lowenthal, Vice Chairman Albert Molina, Treasurer Chip Vandenberg, and Secretary 
Brother Richard Moore. Hello, Camilla's House CEO, Hilda Fernandez. And thank you to the entire Camilla's House team for continuing to serve those, in, those most in need in our South Florida community. Now, as many of you have come to expect, this evening it will kick off with an opening musical production number. But before we get to that, I just want to share a little bit of backstory with you. You see, uh, this production was created for the sole purpose of telling stories of the homeless, telling the stories of, of those that we, <laughs> we hurry past because it's too painful to look telling the stories of those who have less, help less, hope less, and home less. Recently, homelessness became personal. My sister, who is disabled, she lost her home and everything she owned in a fire in Massachusetts. The thought of her alone in her car with her two dogs, was, it was more than I could bear. But we, we got lucky, and we were able to find a woman's shelter that would also accept her two fur babies. She was given a safe opportunity to get back on her feet. And those are the same types of miracles that happen at Camilla's house every day. You see, everyone has a story. Every person we see living on the street, they all have a story. And I've taken it upon myself to tell some of those stories in the most respectful, thoughtful, and artistic way I know how. So please join me now as we watch a Camilla's House original production. Hope for all. Everyone has a story. I pray you'll be our eyes and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be our prayer.
talk to my guitar, talk to my imagination, confide it into alcohol. I tried and tried, tried some more, told secrets till my voice was sore. I'm tired of empty conversation, cause no one hears me anymore. A hundred million stories and a hundred million songs, I feel stupid when I sing. Nobody's listening to me. Talk to shooting stars, but they always get it wrong. I feel stupid when I pray. So why am I praying anyway? If nobody's listening, anyone, please send me anyone. Lord, is there anyone? I need someone. fight for you I always do until my heart is black and blue and I will stay I will stay with you we'll make it through the other side like lovers do I'll reach my hands out in the dark and wait for yours to interlock. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Cause I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, giving up, no, not yet. Either way. for you I always do until my heart is black and blue Thank you. Thank you to the beautiful and talented cast of Hope for All, Everyone Has a Story. Thank you for telling those stories of our commitment, our commitment to put an end to homelessness once and for all. You see, every dollar raised this evening provides uh, critical services for the poor and the homeless in our community. And here to help us do just that this evening is the man of the hour, the one, the only auctioneer extraordinaire. Let's welcome Jason Alford. Come on, Jason. All right, Lori, thank you so much, folks. It is wonderful to be with you during this part of the program because it's not a true auction, as many of you may think a live auction would be. We call this part of the program the Pledge from the Heart. And during this part of the program, we're going to ask you to do just that. Pledge a donation from the bottom of your heart. There's no auction prizes. You just saw the wonderful video. Lori told you some of the stories. 
and that's what we're going to support here. During the Pledge from the Heart, I'm going to call out some donation levels. And as I call out those donation levels, all donating is done through your bidding device. So exactly how you've logged on to watch this program, that's how you're going to donate this evening. That's how you're going to bid this evening. If you're watching us in the full screen mode, please minimize your video player. When you minimize your video player, all your bidding options will be on the screen right around that video player. So whether you're watching on your phone or your tablet or your laptop, maybe your smart TV, however you're watching it, make sure you can see those options for which to give here this evening. As I call out these donation levels, the levels will then show up on your bidding device and you will have a chance to see that level, touch that button and give. The one other instruction I'll be sure to give you is that right on each one of your screens, whether it's your phone or your computer, there's a drop down menu and you need to make sure that drop down menu is on pledge from the heart. So whether it's saying live auction or silent auction or Dutch dinners, that's not where you want to be right now. That drop down menu must be under pledge from the heart and then you'll see those donation levels that you can give from. So as I mentioned, we're gonna call out some levels that some people are gonna give at at some of those high levels, and then we're gonna work our way down. Our goal is to have 100% particip participation from everyone watching here this evening. The first level we're going to call is a $10,000 donation request. At the $10,000 level, you're gonna provide 10 homeless youth with one year of support and supplies needed to complete their high school GEDs, vocational training, or attend college. The way this Pledge from the Heart works is I have a screen here in the studio and I will see those donations come in and we will acknowledge you, we will thank you, and we will celebrate you as the donations come in. So at $10,000, we do have our first $10,000 donation. How about that, right? I love to see that. What a great way to kick off our pledge from the heart. Now, I will tell you that you go to some events and some of these big dollar amounts come in and they say, you know what, I'll give my 10,000 if I can get someone else to match me. This donor didn't do that. This donor said, I'm gonna give $10,000 because I believe in this mission. Now I ask you watching here this evening, who will follow them? Who will follow their lead here this evening? Are there any other $10,000 donors out there at a donation level that will provide vocational training for 20 homeless individuals? Anyone else at $10,000? Where are my donors at $5,000 this evening? At the $5,000 level, you're gonna offer permanent housing for veterans, including specialized services specifically designed to help reintegrate them back into society. Think about that. The veterans who do so much for our country, we now can give back to them at that $5,000 level. Understand that right on your bidding device, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, that $5,000 pledge option is there waiting for you. Your thumb hits that button, we see the name show up here in the studio and we celebrate you. I mentioned the housing for the veterans at the $5,000 level. You'll also provide permanent supportive housing with furniture and household items for four chronically homeless persons as they work towards independent living. We're talking about rehabilitation and $5,000 helps get them to that level. Anyone at $5,000. As I mentioned, all bidding and donating this evening is going to be done through your bidding device. So everywhere you've been looking at your silent auctions, it's the same place. Just make sure you've got that drop down menu on pledge from the heart. The next level I'm gonna call is $2,500. At $2,500, you'll help a survivor of human trafficking who's in recovery. You'll provide one year of room and board for an individual transitioning from homelessness to a permanent job and independent living of their own. Folks, I'm telling you, this is the kind of donation that is transformational. Think about that. One full year of room and board for someone trying to transition into that independent living. Remember, all the donations go through your bidding device, so please, I'm looking at my phone while the program's going on, just like you at home are watching as well. So pull that device out, hit that $2,500 pledge button there. Right underneath it, it says bid now. That bid is donate in this scenario. Is there a $2,500 donor out there? People often say to me, Jason, aren't the awkward silences a little difficult? And I'll be honest with you, they're, they're not. 
because there's people out there who are thinking about it, and they know I'm about to go down another level. And I would ask you, before I go down that level, can you hit that button? Can you make that a contribution? Can you let us celebrate you when we see your name appear on the screen? The next level is a $1,000 donation request. At the $1,000 level, you'll provide a family with one month of housing. A family for one month gets a roof over their head, thanks to Camilla's house and because of you as well. We did get a $1,000 donation from Gene Schaefer. Gene Schaefer, thank you so much for your $1,000 contribution. Who else at $1,000? We got another one. Ben Moller is in at $1,000. How about that, Ben? We love Ben. What a great supporter year after year of Camilla's. Who else at $1,000? We got two of them at $1,000. Who else wants to get in? Mark Bloom is now a $1,000 donor. Thank you to Mark. Paul Singerman is in at $1,000. Now we're cooking, right? Who else are my $1,000 donors out there? I know there's more. I know there's people who are thinking about it. Mar Mary Casey is one of those people. Mary Casey is in at $1,000. At this $1,000 level, you'll also do things like providing two weeks of substance abuse treatment to help turn an individual's life around. We've gotten five at the $1,000 level. That is impactful. And think about it. At the $1,000 level, your accountant will thank me as well because it's a nice round even number, right? Let's be honest. Anyone else at the $1,000 level? So to Jean and Ben and Mark and Paul and Mary and now Derek Ferraro, thank you at the $1,000 level. I want to make sure I get this right. Is that two of them? He put in two at $1,000. So a $2,000 donation from Derek. Thank you so much. So we mentioned Gene Schaefer and Ben Moller and Mark Bloom and Paul Singerman, thank you, and Mary Casey. Derek got in twice at $1,000. Who else at that $1,000 level? We know the technology works. We know you're at home watching. We want to acknowledge you and thank you. Anyone else at the $1,000 level before we move on to the next level here at the Hope for All Gala? At the next level is a $500 ask. At the $500 level, you'll provide a family in need with two weeks of housing. And how about this? In this time of COVID crisis, you're going to provide masks for 400 clients for one week. Think about the difference that can make. You talk about safety. You talk about living on the streets. Masks for 400 people for one week. Allison Day is in at $500. How about that? A round of applause for Allison. McKinley Romero. Romeo is in at $500. McKinley, thank you so much. Allison and McKinley both in at $500 donations. We have other $500 donations that are coming in. Every time you hit that button, it's a $500 donation. Again, I look at it on my bidding device in front of me, and I see the $500 donation level. That button underneath it that just says bid now, now's the time to bid. Are there other $500 donors out there? Folks, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to move on to the next level. But just because I move on to the next level doesn't mean that you can't bid at any level of your choice, right? Any level now at $250 and above. At the $250 level, you can provide something like four women having one month of clothing and toiletries. $250. I'm asking you to potentially give up one night out, one dinner out in some scenarios. And you will provide four women with one month of clothing and toiletries. Where are my $250 donors to help us get to a $20,000 level? We can get there very quickly if I can get eight people to hit that $250 button and make that donation tonight and make that contribution. We thanked Ben and Mark Bloom already and Paul Singerman and Mary Casey. Derek Farrow gave $2,000. Allison Day at $500. McKinley Rome, um, Romeo at $500. Anyone at the $250 level? There's so many people who come to our gala in person each year, and your paddle goes up, and we acknowledge you there. We want to do it now. We got one at 250. Ivan Morales is a $250 donor. How about that, right? <laughs> Ivan, thank you so much. We've got another level we want to call. This level is the $100 level. And think about that $100. I'm asking for a crisp $100 bill through technology, a digital $100. 
And with that $100 donation, you'll provide a person food, shelter, and care for one week. Your $100 can mean the world of difference to one person. Food and shower for 30 street homeless in our day center. Where are my $100 donors out there? Sean Alexander is in at $100. How about that? Thank you, Sean. Who else at $100? Are there other donors out there at the $100 level? What I'm going to do now, Ron Black is a $100 donor. Thank you to Ron and Sean. What I'm going to do now is as I watch this screen and as I hope we'll see some other donations come in, we're going to do what we call the all call. And we're going to acknowledge as many of them as they come in. But this is the time where you can do a donation to your heart's delight. If I didn't call your dollar amount, maybe you want to give $25, maybe you want to give $25,000, whatever your denomination is, now's the time to do it. On your bidding device, you'll see the big green rectangle that says place bid, which is really a donation at this point. You'll see the plus button in the bottom right-hand corner. Click that, you'll be able to specify what donation amount you want to put in. Are there any other donations at any level at this point that we can recognize and acknowledge? We talked about Mary and Derek and Allison and McKinley, thank you. Ivan, thank you. Sean Alexander, thank you. Ron Black, thank you. Anyone else before we wrap up the pledge? Now, we can applaud those, right? I love it. <laughs> Folks, our studio audience, I'll tell you, our studio audience, is, we may be small, but we're mighty. There's about 12 people in this room, most of them from Show Technologies, the AV staff, a few people from Camilla's house and whatnot. We got another donation. Kevin Schaefer is in. Thank you, Kevin. And how about this? I want to make sure if, we, if I know this. Is this Vanya? Do we know this, how to pronounce this? Vanya Laguerre? Vanya Laguerre is a $500 donor. Vanya, thank you so much. Anyone else at any level, folks, what we will do is understand that at any point that you want to make a pledge from the heart, that you feel so compelled to do so during the program tonight, we encourage you to do that and go to that pledge from the heart drop-down menu. Make that donation. Because what we just did over the last seven or eight minutes is raised tonight here for Camilla's house in straight donations. Oh, we just got another one that came in. If I talk long enough, more will come in. McKinley Romeo put in another one donation. Thank you so much, McKinley. What we just did there in the last seven or eight minutes is raise $19,000. How about that, right? I love to hear that. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching here this evening and donated here this evening. PJ Keenan also made a donation, so PJ, thank you. Now, what I will tell you is as we move through the program, if you listen really closely, you can almost hear it. You know what that is? I think it's Lori's stomach starting to grumble just a little bit because we're about to get into the cooking part of the program, the eating part of the program, and I know she's ready for that, and I know you are too. Let's turn it back over to Lori in the kitchen. Wow, is my belly that loud? I'm hungry. Yes, I want to eat, eat, eat. Hey, thank you, Jason, and thank you to everyone that pledged from your heart. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, we also appreciate and feel very fortunate to have this fine lady with us this evening. She's sweet. She's generous. She's charming. Oh, and she also happens to be a James Beard Award-winning celebrity chef. Let's go say hello to Chef Michelle Bernstein. Take it, Michelle. Thank you, Lori. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, I just wish that we were physically together so that you can smell what I'm about to start um, heating up here. It's so great to be here. What an honor and what a privilege to be with all of you this evening. Um, I am truly blessed. And I know that this year is a little funky, but we are still making it delicious and I'm filling your bellies with all that passion and love for the food. So let's talk about the food real quick. So you've got obviously these bags and um, I don't know if you noticed, but the little blue one is for the cold stuff and the white one are the things to be heated up. So to start out with your little amuse bouche, just to amuse your palate, let's see, we've got some delicious little goodies in our bags. So we have in this small container right here, your, your caviar topped deviled eggs. Obviously they're really good containers because I can barely open them myself. And here we go. All right. So we've got in here, like I said, here is a salmon tartare. And if you just pop open this top, 
it's already topped with creme fraiche and caviar on the top. So that is just ready to eat and indulge. A little spoon would be perfect. And then of course you have your caviar topped deviled eggs to go with it with a little chive on top. And that is ready to go. So your amuse bouche is waiting for you to start indulging in. And we are gonna now cook together our first course and while you'll nibble on your amuse-bouche, you can actually start warming up your first course. So let me go ahead and put this on the side. Oh, by the way, I forgot. You have these great little potato chips to go with your salmon tartare that um, you can kind of dip into or spoon it onto those little chips. All right, first course, yummy crab cakes. I did my favorite recipe for crab cakes for y'all, and they are already cooked ready to go. The only thing you need to do is heat them up. And to do so, these gorgeous gold uh, metal containers are ready to go into your oven. So set your oven, uh, it should already be set, but set your oven at 375 degrees and leave it on there all night long because everything that we heat will go into that 375 degree oven. So maybe the best thing would be to start nibbling on your amuse bouche while that oven heats up. And I'm gonna put my crab cakes in that oven now. Amanda, I need you. <laughs> my beautiful masked assistant Amanda, hi my dear. So go ahead and if you don't mind, heat those crab cakes up. They should only take about five minutes, okay? Thank you. All right, so she's gonna go ahead and heat that up. We'll be back in just a second while they're hot and then I can show you how to make beautiful plates. Thank you, Chef Michelle. That's looking good, looking good. While we're waiting for the crab cakes, um, I wanna tell you about this. We uh, proposed a question to many of our sponsors and we set it up for them and said, what does Camillus mean to me? If you have to answer that question, what does Camillus mean to me? And we got some very, very nice responses. Let's take a look. On behalf of the entire Burger Singerman team, we thank the staff and leadership of Camillus House for all you do for the less fortunate in our community. We are blessed to support the mission of Camillus House. Camillus House is at the front lines of compassion in our community. It's about meeting people where they're at, no matter what road in life they've traveled, and helping them build a more fruitful, better future every step of the way recognizing their dignity. Camilla's house is about hope and healing. It's about building a more just and equitable Miami where all Miamians can thrive. Thank you so much. I seem to be falling a little bit behind on that first course. Anyway, let's go back to the kitchen and see how it's really supposed to be done. All right, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting our pretty plate together. This is your remoulade, just basically a flavored mayonnaise. And we have a really pretty slaw with chayote squash and tomatoes. And that's all ready to go. Everything is seasoned, uh, tossed in olive oil and all kinds of flavors. So we can just go ahead and start making our plates. So the remoulade will go down onto a plate. You can get fancy if you want to. I'm just gonna kind of spread it along the side just a little bit. It's up to you. You can even just, you know, use it out of this little ramekin as well. Remember, you're at home this time. You can do what you want. Uh, let me put that on the side and then I will scoop out this gorgeous slaw. How are we doing, Amanda? We're ready, yay. You can go right there. Thank you, my love. Oh, they smell so yummy. Oh, good. So I did give you my favorite crab cake recipe, which basically means there's like no fillers in it whatsoever. Um, it is all crab and it's just lush. Very good. So using a spatula, you can use this, which is called a little offset. You can use this, which is a fish spatula. You can use a rubber. So I don't care what you use. Just use something other than, of course, like tongs because you don't want to mess up these beautiful crab cakes. So we will use a little spatula and go ahead and place. I love putting the crab cake near the sauce because you can kind of run through it as you eat. So 
So we have two per person, of course. Ah, beautiful. And there you have it. These delicious crab cakes are ready. And Lori, I think you're up, my love. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, who can say live auction? Live auction time! Yay! Live auction time! How about it, Jason? Are you ready to hook us up with live auction lot number one? Oh, I'm ready, Lori. And listen, if everyone at home is half as excited about the live auction as you are, we are in <laughs> great shape for the live auction, right? <laughs> Let me get a little housekeeping underway before we get into that first item. And I can tell you, I'm watching the bidding on the first item already, and it's already going. So we're going to get to that in a second. A little bit of housekeeping I want to get out of the way. Number one is we talked about earlier in the program, we want to interact with you all throughout the program. And we can do that if you interact with us through social media. All you have to do is tag your photos, tag your Facebook post with hashtag Camilla's Gala. 2020, or if you prefer, Camilla's Gala 2020. However you say it, Gala or Gala, it's going to work the same way. So put it on your Facebook page or the Camilla's House Facebook page, and you will be posted on our social media wall here in the studio. We're going to show some of those posts later on in the program. Number two, the silent auction is going to close at 930. We will do our best to remind you of exactly when 930 is coming, but depending on where it is in the show, you may not know the exact time. So please watch your clock and know that the silent auction will close at 930. Lastly, and by lastly, I mean I've got a lot more to say. All these auction packages, especially the trips and the experiences, have two or three year expiration dates. So don't think that you're going to have to be flying cross country or worldwide tomorrow if you're not comfortable doing that. You've got two to three years to use these auction packages. And lastly, if you are watching this program on full screen mode, I encourage you to minimize your video player. If you minimize your video player, you'll be able to still watch the auction and see all the bidding opportunities located around the video screen. So please do that so that you can get ready for the auction. All bidding is done on your bidding device, just like the Pledge from the Heart. So please make sure that drop down menu that a moment ago said Pledge from the Heart, all you have to do is change that now to live event and auction. If you go there, as I just did, you will then see all the auction items listed there for you, and you can see which one you want to bid on when we get to it. So all that housekeeping out of the way, I'm ready. We know that Lori was ready because she told us. As long as Gibson's ready, he's going to fire off our first song. Gibson, Gibson, give me that first song. All right, now he's ready. I got you, right? To the river so deep. To the river so deep. Billy Joel is kicking off our auction here this evening because it is our first auction item. It is LA1. That's live auction one, the Viking River Cruise. It is an eight-day Rhine getaway. You're about to discover the most convenient way to see the world, cruising in an intimate scale with a personal touch. You're going to meander along the world's greatest waterways at the easy pace of the river, gliding magnificent vistas and pausing to pausing to explore riverside ports all while unpacking your bags just once and as i told you earlier on these packages don't expire this one in particular for three years you could travel in 2021 2022 or 2023 plenty of time to bid the retail value on this package is upwards of ten thousand dollars we've got an opening bid on this one at five thousand dollars i need somebody to go fifty five hundred I'll take a $5,500 bid to get action going on this one. Jose is in at $5,000. Jose does a great job of getting our auctions going, but Jose also loves winning those auction items. So is he going to win this one at $5,000? We're going to find out because we need somebody to get in at $5,500. Someone in at $5,500 who wants to explore one of Europe's most loved rivers, the Rhine, the Grand Cathedral, the historic cities, the medieval towns, the spectacular scenery, of course. Sip the region's renowned fine white wines, folks. It is an eight-day, seven-night Rhine getaway, the Veranda Stateroom. Who wants to get in at 5500 before we close this one out? The retail value is upwards of $10,000. So right now, I'm asking for something just a little bit above 50% 50 of the retail value. Who's going to get in before we close this one out? We've got a $5,000 bid right now. I'm going to close it out unless anybody wants to get in. Understand, I'll remind you again, all bidding is done on your device. So if you log in and if you tap that auction item, you will see the bid button at the bottom of that screen. And as long as you swipe it, you can bid it. 
I need a $5,500 bid to keep it going. We're watching our screens here. We're going to close this one out at 5000 unless anybody jumps in at the last second. And let me explain how this is going to work as far as timing is concerned. I am going to call going, white, going once, going twice, and I'll say that S word coming up in a moment. And when I do, we will take a deep breath. We will check our screens one time because I want to make sure that any bid that got in at the last second, we acknowledge that. So we've got a $5,000 bid going once, a $5,000 bid going twice. Are you ready? Sold for $5,000, thank you, from Camilla's house. All right, that does go to bidder 136, Jose Nazar. Jose, thank you for supporting Camilla's house. Let's go on to the next live auction live. All right, this auction's never been afraid to have a little wine in it, right? But how about I tell you this? As many of you know, all of our auction lots had a buy it now price before the auction started. And this one, that is exactly what happened to it. Buy it now. It sold out before the auction started at a special buy it now price. Our winner of our first auction lot is the winner of our second auction lot. Jose bought that one out as well. So Jose, thank you once again, the winner of auction lot number two. Now let's move on to auction lot number three. Gibson, go ahead and give me that next song for option lot number three. Let me play among the stars. All right. Let I see here working Frank, right? Little Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. This auction package as well sold out before the auction. It was 350,000 American Airlines miles. Now, if you're dying because this one already sold, not to worry, we have a package coming up later in the auction with 650,000 American Airlines miles. So live auction item number three, sold out, buy it now to Roger Stein. Roger, thank you for supporting Camilla's house. Now, we'll move on to live auction item number four. Gibson, give me that next song. Ah, uh, Daydream Believer, the monkeys are singing it there. It's a luxurious seven night. Sea Dream Yachting Experience. You're going to the Caribbean. It's on either the Sea Dream 1 or the Sea Dream 2. The expression yachting is not only a statement about size, it describes the lifestyle aboard these intimate vessels. Chic and stylish, a 56 room stateroom. That's all that is on these lot yachts. They got elegant informality, outstanding personal service, and a crew of just 95. And once again, these packages don't expire, this one in particular, for three years. You got plenty of time to use this package. We do have an opening bid of 5760. I'm gonna ask for a bid of 6250 to get this next bid going. We're gonna try to go about $500 at a time. So is there a $6,250 bidder out there to get some bidding action on this one? We got an opening bid of 56760. This has an estimated retail value of $14,400. We're going to see who wants to jump on on this one at just $6,250. Is there a bidder out there who wants to put their finger on that button? It's showing right on your phone. All you got to do is see who wants to get in at $6,250. That's all we need one time for this $14,400 retail value package. I'll tell you again, they have state-of-the-art facilities aboard, of course, inclusive of the open bar and the gratuities. They're all included. The ocean view accommodations, the luxury spa, and the world-class cuisine. Right now, we've got that opening bid of 5760 Anybody want in at $6,250 before we close it out? Folks, I tell you, if we have two bids, it's an auction. If we have one bid, it's a sale. We don't want to have sales here tonight. We're going to try to get this second bid in one time. Again, this was generously donated by the Sea Dream Yacht Club. Anybody want in? Understand the beauty of these yachts as you're cruising through the Caribbean. Just 56 staterooms on it. We're going to close the bid on this at 57.60 going once. 57.60 going twice. Are you ready? Sold. Thank you from Camilla's house. We're going to look up there one last time and congratulate Derek. Barrow at 5760. Congratulations. Let's move on to the next live auction live. Gibson, give me the next song. The boys are back in town. All right, the boys are back in town, folks. Understand that at every Camilla's House Gala you go to, it seems like they've got some sort of Dutch dinner. And we've got three of these in this auction. This one is called the Ultimate Boys Night. And I want to make sure that you know how to bid on this package. To bid on this package, there are only 12 seats available at this dinner. 
When you bid on this package, they are $2,000 each. Chip Vandenberg has already bought one already, so Chip, thank you so much. He is a winner already at $2,000. We now need 11 more people who want to join Chip at this dinner table, right? Understand that this is going to be an amazing night out. Food prepared by Chef Tim Moran and paired with choice wines from Bob Dickinson's collection. He is going to dig deep the more um, people he gets in on this package. So it is for men only for this particular one. Not to worry, ladies. We're going to have a package for you coming up later in the auction as well where you're going to have the dinner of your choice. So these are $2,000 each. Extraordinary night of whining and dining. Only 12 guys in. Here's how it's going to work. We are going to leave this Dutch dinner open and you're going to be able to bid and buy these packages as you so choose throughout the evening tonight. So understand that as of right now, they are all $2,000. And by as of right now, they're going, all going to stay $2,000. So if you want in on this dinner, those 12 seats, when this sells out, and it does sell out every year, it's going to be a total sell price of $24,000 for Camilla's house. So again, I encourage you to get your fingers on those buttons and buy in to this dinner for just $2,000. It will be the night of the year, I can assure you of that. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next live auction lot. Gibson, give me that next song. All right, this one apparently uh, sold out as well, is that correct? No, right. So this one is still available, so I wanna make sure that you, you know that big sold sign floating in the middle there, you can disregard that, right? This is live auction number six, the Blue Ridge, <coughs> excuse me, Mountain Home. This is a seven night stay with breathtaking views situated right on Lake Blue Ridge. Folks, you know a house is an amazing house when it has its own name. This is O'Shea Cove, and it's just a quaint 12,000 square feet, a private retreat in Blue Ridge, Georgia, that offers all the amenities of a high-end resort and so much more. Folks, for those of you who may not be comfortable traveling to great extents and great lengths right now, this is the package for you. It's drivable. It's a long drive, but you certainly can make this drive, especially you leave early in the morning. You are there by the end of the day. And you can take up to 18 people to stay in this home. It is five bedrooms and seven baths. There are bunk beds in some of the rooms for the kids. It's a four-story home with an elevator, a billiard room, a movie room. Folks, you've got two years to use this package. So anytime over the next two years that you want to do a family reunion, a business retreat, right? A girls weekend, whatever it may be. You want to get out on the beautiful lake, whether it be summertime or wintertime, whenever it may be, you can do just that. So we are asking for a $14,000 bid to get this one started. Is there a $14,000 bidder out there? What I will tell you is a typical week in this beautiful home in O'Shea, O'Shea Cove typically sells for $35,000. So if you were to go and try to rent this on your own, if you even could, Richard O'Shea isn't exactly one to put it on the rental market, but if you could rent a similar type home, it is $35,000. We're asking for a $14,000 bid on this somewhere. Is there a $14,000 bid? If there's not, we're gonna go ahead and pass on it. I'm gonna watch up here on the screen one more time and see if anybody else can get in before we close this one out. $14,000 to support Camilla's house and to stay in this gorgeous, Lake Blue Ridge retreat home for up to 18 people. What I'll tell you is if you can get 18 people to all go together, all I'm looking for is $750 per person. <laughs> Look at it that way, right? That would be a pretty amazing trip if you could get there for $750 a person. All right, let's go ahead and go on to the next live auction lot. And Gibson, give me that next live auction song. A bottle of red bottle of whites all right bottle of red bottle of whites this one though is one of the packages that did sell in our pre-sale it was six pristine magnums of first growth bordeaux and that sold before the auction started at that buy it now price to an anonymous bidder anonymous donor so we appreciate that and thank that donor as well so folks this package valued at almost twenty two thousand dollars so what i will tell you is that wraps up this first part of the live auction program the way the program is set up though is there's actually a total of three live auction segments you've survived one of them so thank you so much for joining me for that you've got two more and it's going to be a lot of fun there's some great packages wine and travel coming up but i will tell you is that there's more great food coming up as well. If you thought those on, if you thought those appetizers were good, wait for the entrees to come. That's what I, uh, that's what Lori's going to introduce next. Lori, thanks, Jason. I say we get back to that kitchen and Chef Michelle. 
I'm gonna be cooking right along with you, okay? I'm trying to keep up. What you got going on now? Welcome back to our kitchen. By the way, we are here at Cafe La Trova. Uh, this is our bar and restaurant. We are on Calle Ocho and uh, we are safely beginning to feed people again. We just started a couple of weeks ago and we are thrilled to be back. So um, when you want, come and grab a drink and we will somewhat distance ourselves from you and uh, give you, of course, a big cheers. So for our next course, this is probably my most exciting moment because this is my favorite dish that I've ever made. Uh, this beautiful chicken roulade is hiding inside of this container. So let me show you what you need to do. Inside of the container, you'll have a bunch of little plastic ramekins. Pull all of them out. And what's beautiful about this chicken roulade is it's fully cooked and it went through three different types of cooking to get to where we are right now. And the last and final part is just for you to warm it up. So your oven has been at 375. Keep it at that temperature. This will heat for 12 to 14 minutes at 375. Um, if your oven runs a little low, then keep it in there for 15 to 20 minutes. Just so you know, it doesn't really matter how long you keep it in there because in here is so much moist deliciousness, you'll be fine. So Amanda, if you don't mind. <clears throat> thank you, my dear. Awesome. Huh? Oh yes, thank you. You know what, she's so smart. We need young people around us, right? So I've given you all a little piece of foil. This one is better covered. Thanks, Amanda. So use the foil that I've given you and just wrap the chicken with the foil. Make sure this little plastic part does not go in the oven because it will not be pretty. All right, so make sure you discard the top unless you wanna wrap it up later, of course, to put it back in your fridge if there's any leftovers. Use the foil we've given you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> She's the best. All right. So we're going to make two things together. The first thing we're going to make is the sauce. The second thing will be the side of vegetable. And of course, we're going to cut some apple for the top. I've given you a Granny Smith apple. Don't worry about that. That'll be at the end. Right now for the sauce, you have all these little ramekins that were in your chicken container. Please unveil them all. Just take the tops off. Just so you know, you will not need any salt because I have added salt to your butter, okay? So you won't need any, unless of course, you're one of those very salty people. Chip Vandenberg, we'll talk later, but Paul Singerman, if you're a salty kind of a guy, you can add a little bit of salt, but please be careful because this is salted butter, all right? So what we're gonna do, Paul, listen, okay? You don't want a hot pot. All right, pour in. This is uh, the chicken stock. This is a deep, dark, delicious chicken stock. We're gonna put that into a small saucepan or any pan will work. It doesn't really matter, whatever y'all have at home. And let's go ahead and place that in. It will be gelatin-like because all of my stocks always gelatinize really nicely. Go ahead and turn the heat up to about a nice, let's say a medium, medium temperature. I'll do the same. I just hit medium, very good. Now add the clear, uh, smaller container of liquid it is called uh, an apple gastrique. Most of you probably know because you're all fancy out there. So you probably know what that is. And if not, it is just basically uh, a nice combination of something sweet with a vinegar and a wine. Uh, and the apple gastrique will also go into our sauce. Allow this to come together. You can just kind of swish it around. Paul, how you doing over there? You swishing? Okay, I wanna make sure you're swishing it all around. Everything should kind of melt together. Now we don't need a big reduction here because we do already have a nice thick reduction in our um, roasted chicken stock. Oh, it's already looking so pretty. I look for bubbles. So for me, when bubbles glaze over, it means the sauce is almost ready. We're gonna do two things before we finish here. We're gonna add that salted butter and keep swirling around. Don't get lazy on me, y'all. Keep on swirling. 
and make sure all of that butter melts. Very nice. Y'all are doing a beautiful job. Mine looks like it is about ready. So the last thing I'm going to do, and I've added two little pieces of lemon for you. It's up to you how you like it. So what I would do is add one squeeze of that lemon, and I have taken all the seeds out for y'all, so don't worry. Um, you won't get any seeds in your, uh, in your sauce. So add one, and go ahead and taste it, and see. Ah, I'm going to add the other one, because I love lemon. I feel like it needs one more. And there you have it. Our sauce, believe it or not, is done. So we're going to set that on the side. And here we are going to start cooking our Brussels sprouts. All right, I'm going to go to a medium to a medium high temperature now. Let's open up our Brussels sprout package. So we've cut them in half for you, and we have two little ramekins here. One of them has oil. The other one has a confit, which is a, a cooked shallot, garlic, and herb mixture. Let's kind of forget about that one for a minute and just use the oil. Smell the oil. It smells heavenly. It has garlic and shallot in it. And go ahead and don't wait for that to get hot. Go ahead and place your Brussels sprouts right in there. They will pop and make quite a bit of noise, but that's all normal and good because we really want to get a nice amount of color on this. So anywhere from a medium to a medium high temperature, you can even go all the way up if you want to if your stove is not very, very hot. Um, but if you have a good hot stove, especially if you're using gas, then I would put that on about a medium to a medium high. And as you can hear it popping and sizzling, that's what you want to hear. If you add something into the pan and you wait to hear something and you're not hearing it yet, go higher, okay, with that stove top of yours. I'm not adding this stuff yet. I'm going to kind of set this aside while I clean up my area. Lori, I just love what you've done with your chicken, by the way. I think it's awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you can use a spoon, a spatula, or if you're good at flipping, now's your chance to show off. If you've always wanted to learn how to flip your food, uh, this might be your perfect chance because if you drop a Brussels sprout on the ground, it's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, by the way, we chefs in culinary school, we train with um, beans because those also, a dried bean, you know, if you drop one of those, not a big deal. It's when you start getting all the fancy stuff in there is when that's never good. And you just flip. Now the reason I'm not seasoning this is because I have, add, I have added salt and pepper to your confit of garlic and shallot. There's also rosemary in here. So this has to cook for a good two to three minutes. The chicken needs another six, so we'll be right back. Thanks, Chef. Looks like my uh, chicken is coming along swimmingly. That's fantastic. Oh, well, waiting for that, how about a word from our sponsors? As we pose that question, what does Camillus mean to me? Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Bloom, a Chief Medical Officer for Molina Healthcare Florida, and also a board member of Camillus House for the past year. I just want to say that Camillus House is very important to me as a member of this community. I know them well, having trained here as a physician, and seeing them way back then. And I also know what they do for me as a medical director at Molina Healthcare when we have homeless patients who need a place to go. After they leave the hospital, we try to place them at Camilla's house whenever possible. And to that end, we actually have secured a couple of permanent beds at Camilla's house that we pay for on a daily basis, which helps the cash flow for Camilla's house and helps us find a place for our Molina members. So Camillus continues to do great work in the community, of course, and I'm seeing it every day personally in my work for Molina. Keep up the great job, Camillus. What does Camillus House mean to me? 
It means hope, but with a great plan to get there. Hi, Camillus is so important to all of us in the community. And to me personally, it's been really that beacon of hope, of help, of healing, of helping people improve their health, of helping them back get back on their feet when times have been hard for so many in our community for so long. Thank you, Camillus. Hi there, if you haven't already, take a photo or post a message on your Facebook page and the Camillus Facebook page, and we'll show it here online. And remember, hashtag Camillus Gala 2020. All right, I think I want to check on my chicken here. I think it's coming. Oh, dear. I didn't get the ro roll apart. Rule of Bob. Rule of ah, Chef, help us out, please. All right, everybody. I hope that your Brussels sprouts are as caramelized as mine are. They are beautiful. And now we're ready for the piece de resistance the delicious confit of garlic, shallot, rosemary, salt, and pepper. And that's really just to mix in right at the end. Oh, that rosemary smells so good. Yummy. I'll take the chicken, Amanda. All right, the chicken's on its way in. Let's go ahead and cut the apple. I've given you just a little bit of fresh apple for the top of your chicken. All you have to do is cut off just a bit from the side and then slice a couple slices, not the whole apple, just about four to five slices. I'm doing it nice and slow for y'all. There we go, that's enough. Let me put my apple to the side. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Ah, oh, smells yummy. All right, so then we're gonna do a little julienne. So I've layered up all the slices of the apple together. And remember, this is the bear claw. We're going down here so that we don't hurt our knuckles. And we're just gonna slice nice thin slices, julienne slices. And I keep the peel on, I think it's just pretty. Of apple, beautiful. All right, so we're all set to go ahead and make a pretty plate together, or I should say for two. Being very careful, unwrap, but I love these foil containers because they don't get too hot. Oh, but the chicken is hot, beautiful. All right, so you have to slice a roulade of chicken because you have to see the middle of the beautiful roulade of chicken. So let's go ahead and carefully, using a spatula, take the roulade out of the pan, like so. And so every roulade is for two people. So I think, I do have markings here for every slice if you'd like to. And what I was thinking is that every roulade could slice uh, eight slices, so four per person. So let's go ahead and the way I like to cheat is cutting it right in half. And make sure you have a nice, you know, sharp knife for this, obviously. And then from there, you can figure out right in half, and then half of that will give you four slices per. And go ahead and do that again. Now, I hope this doesn't sound a little confusing. I don't like to give four pieces from the right side and four pieces from the left side, which is actually the opposite for y'all. What I like to do is take two slices from one side because they're always a little bit different and two slices from the same side and put that on the other plate because I don't want each person to get, this is a half of a bird, this is a half of a chicken, and so I don't want each person to get too much white meat and too much dark meat. So that would actually be a perfectly even amount of white and dark meat for each person. Then we're gonna go ahead and serve the Brussels sprouts next to your gorgeous chicken. You could tell everyone that you made it. I had nothing to do with it. Would they believe you? I'm not really sure, but maybe. 
and there we have it. And then we have a little bit of extra, of course. And then we are just going to pour on that delicious sauce, like so, on both of our chickens. And then finally, we have our apple right over the top of our bird. Yum. Ah, just gorgeous. Take a look at that. All right, so listen to me, Chip Vandenberg. Don't you dare outbid me, okay? Let's go and see what's coming up next. Lori, I love you. What have you got going on? Chip, don't outbid me on these lots. I'm very excited, and I might be able to get something special for my family. So see you guys soon. Lori, come back to me because I have something sweet at the end. Thanks, Chef Michelle. We all love you, too. Very much so. I was going to show my chicken, but I was so good, I ate all of it. So why don't we go back to some live auction lots with the fantastic Jason Alpert. Well, thank you, Laura. You know, the set that they have set up here is a library. And if we can zoom out just a little bit so we can get a better view of exactly where I am, because I'm in a library with an understanding that the library books all happen to be written by or about all of our sponsors. So <laughs> this one is Damari Fresh, and we've got BioPlanet over here and Simply Healthcare and Show Technologies are there, Perry Ellis International. All these books perfectly designed by and about our sponsors. So we appreciate that and what a great set we've got here to acknowledge those sponsors. I will also tell you that as Chef Michelle talked about Chip Vandenberg, her not wanting him to outbid her throughout this auction, it is always dangerous when you start telling an auctioneer about who you do or don't want to outbid you. So now, if I see your name up there, Michelle, I may be encouraging Chip to bid against you. So we're going to see how that works along. I do want to remind everyone also that the silent auction will close at 9.30 tonight. So we've got a little bit of time to go, but I want you to know that it's coming, and we'll do our best to remind you of that as much as we can. So with that said, it is now time to go into live auction number eight. Now, remember, all bidding is done through your bidding device, whether you're on your phone or your laptop or your smart TV, wherever it is, you can be on there. I'm there right now. I'm looking at live auction number eight. It is the Scenic Jewels of Europe, and I think we should kick it off with a little music. Gibson, what do you got? All right. Take me to the river, take me to the water, right? It's the fabulous pampering in a balcony suite with your own personal butler. How about that, right? It is make your selection of some of the most, the most fantastic and famous rivers in the world on a scenic luxury river cruise. It's all inclusive in a balcony suite, no less. Folks, I will tell you the iconic waterways of Europe are yours to explore all-inclusive river cruising like never before, a private butler, unforgettable excursions, fine dining. Let's go ahead and make the increments $500 on that, please, Spencer. The complimentary beverages, everything is included. You do not have to bat an eye. You do not have to lift, lift a finger. Everything's included, and I'll say it again over and over. This package doesn't expire for three years. You have until the end of 2023 to use this cruise. So get yourself a deal. It is a $20,000 retail value. The auction item is up on your bidding device and we know it's there not only because I see it, but because we've got an opening bid by Jose. He's bidder 136 and he's in at $10,000. We need a bidder at 10,500 to get this auction going. Who's going to give me 10,500? Anybody in one time? Who's going to go 10,500? Is there a bidder at 10,500? I'm looking up at my screen here and I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see that number show up there. Is there a bidder at 10,500 who wants that opportunity for a fabulous balcony suite? You're going to head out on the iconic European waterways. It's a river cruise like never before. The private butler, the fine dining, everything is included. You don't lift a finger. You don't do anything during this entire cruise. This was generously donated by Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours. The value is $20,000, and I'm about to start wrapping this one up, and we may be selling it at $10,000, a 50% of what this cruise is valued at. I need a $10,500 bid to keep this auction going, but we're going to close it out unless I see another name up there on the screen. We are at $10,000 going once. We are at $10,000 going twice. Are you ready? 
sold for $10,000, thank you, from Camilla's house. That goes to bidder 136. Let's go ahead and move on to live auction number nine. What do you got, Gibson? Girls just want to have fun, but this package is called Bad Boys Can Cook. Why is that? Because the bad boys are cooking for the girls who want to have fun. This is the opportunity for 10 lucky and generous ladies to have what many call the dinner of the year. Every year we have this. The great food, the great wine, the great company. And how about this? The great chef in Chef Wayne Eldred and your sommeliers and wait staff for the night or as my notes call them here, your manservants. How about Peter Benjamin, Jesse Hopfinger, Alex Montague, and Bob Dickinson? They will dazzle and delight 10 lucky ladies who will have the dinner, the drinks, all taken care of for them at Bob's Coral Gables home. So this is a Dutch auction, as we mentioned. All these items are bought one at a time. They are one, one at a time, all on your bidding device. So if you pull up that item, you will see where you will be able to buy into this package, right? So we need to get on there. It's a $1,500 buy-in. When we sell all 10 of these seats, it'll be a $15,000 get for Camilla's house. But we need you to want to be at this dinner. Think about it. Get your girlfriends together and go have this night. 10 people are going to get a chance to do it. We will go ahead and leave that one open with an understanding that as you decide and as you so choose, you can go on and buy those and win that opportunity to go to that dinner. The bad boys can cook. That's live auction number nine. Let's go ahead and look at live auction number 10. And Gibson, give me that next song for that auction item. All right, here we go, folks. It's Kokomo, right? Where is Kokomo? In this scenario, it is in the Turks and Caicos, in Providenciales. What they have, it's for eight guests who will spend seven luxurious nights in the Turks and Caicos. It's a beautifully designed and detailed, stunningly elegant, coral stone, five-bedroom villa located on the most enviable stretch of the most enviable beach, Grace Bay Beach. So understand where this home is located. It is on the perfect lot on the perfect beach in the Turks and Caicos. It's not only one of the newest luxury villas in Turks and Caicos, but it's one of the most outstanding ever to have been built on this beautiful and extremely safe island. It's got a private swimming pool, the one bedroom staff cottage. The 8,000 square foot home is directly on Grace Bay Beach. You can see that beautiful view from the covered outdoor dining room there. You can also see the softest white sands, the clearest turquoise seas. This beach is repeatedly awarded the title of the world's best beach. We've got a top bid right now of $23,400. Let's go ahead and put it up to $24,500 for my next bidder. That's perfect where that is. Thank you, Spencer. We need a $1,100 increment here to get the auction going. This is just five minutes from the center of Grace Bay, which is the full extent when you want the restaurants and the bars and the shops and you want that touristy opportunity, you can get it. But it is also just a few moments from Alexandria National Park. So we currently have a bid of 23,400. The property, as much as we talk about the house, the property has 120 feet of beach front frontage. It's manicured in tropical gardens. And I'll say it over and over about the expiration dates. Jonathan Brown has been very generous with this. It's a two-year expiration date. So anytime you want to go in 2021 or 2022, we currently have a bid of $23,400. I now need somebody to go $24,500. $24,500 to get this auction going before we put our last call on it. Right now we're at $23,400 at $24,500. You're going to go to the Turks and Caicos. And you're going to stay in what could arguably be the nicest place you'll ever stay. And I know many of you have stayed in some gorgeous places. But the views, the location, it is all in, courtesy of Jonathan Brown. So we're at 23400 and we're going to go and close this out unless anybody else gets their finger on that button and hits that donate button, that bid button. Now's the time to bid if you want it. We're at 23400 going once. We're at 23400 going twice. Are you ready? Sold, thank you, from Camilla's house. How about that, $23,400. That is a great, great sale. 
and win. Congratulations to our winning bidder on that one. This is live auction item number 11, and Gibson, give me that next song. Yeah. All right, they're clapping and dancing in the studio a little bit. We'll take that. I like that. This is pure luxury Regent 7C Cruises. You're going to enjoy a 10-night cruise on a wide variety of itineraries, a deluxe veranda stateroom with your own personal butler. How about this, though, folks? The bid, the price, what you win, it all includes unlimited shore excursions, gratuities, government fees, and taxes, all those things that you often feel nickel and dime by on the cruise industry and maybe at charity auctions, not here. It is all in when you go there. It is the world's most luxurious fleet, the world's finest world-class cuisine, 450 ports around the world that you're gonna get to choose the itinerary from. And once again, doesn't expire for two full years. Doesn't expire December 31st, 2022. And by the way, as I look at my calendar right here, it's actually more than two years. Oh, by the way, the end of 2022 is when you get to travel through. So this has a retail price of almost $21,000. We just got an opening bid of $8,000 on this one, right? We'll take that right there. So $8,000 is my top bid right now. Uh, that's bidder 164. I need, you know what, let's go by 500s on this one. We'll take it at $8,500 bid. $8,500 for a cruise that is valued at 21,000 because you're gonna get to choose what cruise ship you wanna go on. You're gonna get to choose the itinerary. All we can tell you is that you'll be cruising on the beautiful Regent Seven Seas Cruise Line. So we're at $8,000, there's an $8,500 bidder out there. $8,500, you're gonna get to choose your itinerary anywhere in 2021 or 2022. I got bidder 164 at 8,000. Is anybody gonna get into 8,500? There are people who are thinking about it. I know there's people out there with their finger on that button and they're thinking to themselves, I can't let this one slide away for $8,000. How do I not wanna get in at 8,500? So now's the time, get that bid button pushed. Get that bid donate button ready to go because we're gonna close it out. And if you wanna get in now, now's the time to do it. I'm watching my phone and my bidding device here just like you all are as well. And we're waiting to see who wants to get in on this item. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close it out at $8,000 unless you're able to get in quick. We are at $8,000 going once. We are at $8,000 going twice. All right, we got it, an $8,500 bid. How about that, we're at 8,500. I now need somebody to go nine. Is there a $9,000 bid out there? I got 9,000 now from our new bidder. So we were in at 8,000 and 8,500 and 9,000. I love some of the names that people have registered with, by the way. I was gonna use regular names, but I'm not using your login name. I can tell you that right now. So we got in at 8,000, 8,500 by a bidder, 184. 143 gave us 9,000. And our original bidder at 8,000 is now back in at 9,500. So we're at 9,500. Now we need somebody to go 10,000. It's either of our past two bidders gonna get in. It's Couture Obsessed is one of our bidders, and Bloss2893 is another one of our bidders. Those are all login names, but we'll take it. I now need a $10,000 bid for this $21,000 cruise on Region 7 Seas. You pick the itinerary, you pick the ship, you only know that you're gonna be there for 11 days um, and 10 nights. So I now need a $10,000 bid. Let's see if we can make some magic happen again, because the last time we do this, we got an extra $1,500. Can we get Couture Obsessed? or Bloss 2893 to get in one last time at 10,000. We are at 9,500 going once. We are at 9,500 going twice. Are you ready? We got a bid of $10,000 by Bloss 2893. Who's gonna go 10,5? We're gonna move much quickly now, much more quickly now. We're gonna see if our original bidder can get in. Bidder 164, do you want back in? Because we're gonna close it out at $10,000 if you don't. You don't wanna lose this over just $1,000, do you? We need you to get in one more time. You were last in at 9,500, you wanna get in at 10,5. It's still, as I mentioned, a $21,000 value. You could get this still at less than half price of what the retail would be. We're gonna close it out at 10,000 unless anybody else can get in. We're at 10,000 going once. 10,000 going twice, who's thinking about it? Are you ready? We got a bid at 10.5, how about that? Our original bidder is back in. 
Who's gonna go $11,000? You're gonna go $11,000 one time. It's like a heavyweight boxing match right now. We had Bloss 2893 at 9,000. Our original bidder 164 came in at 9,500. Bloss 2893 came back at 10,000. And now our original bidder is in at 10,5. So we have 10,5 going back and forth, back and forth. You're gonna get it at 11. Heavyweight boxing match, like I talked about. Who's gonna get that knockout blow, right? We're gonna see right now. I'm gonna see if we can close it out. We're at 10,5 going once. We are at 10,500 going twice. Are you ready? Sold for $10,500. How about that? Congratulations to bidder 164. And thank you from Camilla's house. Let's go on to that next live auction live. Get up. Get your all right, Eric Clapton, get your red wine. I see you working, Eric Clapton. Folks, this is six decades of rare Bordeaux Magnums. You see the picture that we're gonna show you up on the screen in just a moment. I will tell you that it almost loses scope there a little bit because those are all magnums of wine and it's just not any magnums. We're talking about six mature magnums. The oldest vintage dating back 71 years, back to 1949. There's one magnum for each one of the decades represented between the 40s and the 90s. That's why we call this six decades of perfection. The retail value of these bottles averages about $2,500 a piece. And I will tell you, they're mature magnums, virtually impossible to find anywhere from great vintages. The winning bidder will be thrilled. So we do have two bids on this package so far. We have an $8,000 bid from bidder 136. We have a $9,000 bid from bidder 162. So let's go ahead, we'll do this 500 at a time. I think we can get going there and we'll see if we can get some action going on this one. So I now need a $9,500 bid to get this one going. I got a $9,000 bid, I need somebody at 9,500 to keep it going. We're asking $9,500. We had that $8,000 bid, we got it to 9,000. We now need 9,500 before we close it out. I have a feeling if we close this one out at $9,000, whoever Paul U-O-L-L-O-U-K-S-D-9, which is your registration name, <laughs> bidder 162, I think they're gonna realize that they got a steal at $9,000. Because each one of these bottles on average is valued at 2,500. The vintages are 1949, 1953, 1966, 1975, 1985, and 1990. Is there a $9,500 bidder out there before we close it out? We are at 9,000 going once, getting ready to close it out. We are at 9,000 going twice, getting ready to close it out. Are you ready? Sold at $9,000, thank you, from Camilla's house. All right, let's go on to that next live auction lot. Give me that next song. Mario Speedwagon, time for me to fly. And you know what? This isn't just fly anywhere. This is fly everywhere. American Airlines Advantage Mile, 650,000 big ones, right? 650,000 American Airlines miles in order to go anywhere you want to go many times over. And additionally, they can be used for anything as part of the American Airlines mileage program. So please understand that so many of your travel expenses will be covered through these 650,000 miles. The estimated retail value on these is $19,500. We're opening it up and we do have an opening bid of $12,500. How about that, right? So we're gonna go 500 at a time. Let's see if we can get a $13,000 bid. Is there a $13,000 bidder out there one time? Who's in at 13,000? Anyone wanna go? Anybody in at 13,000? I know there's people who are thinking about it out there. You got your finger on that button, ready to bid, ready to get in on this action. We're at 12,500. We're gonna move quick on this one because there's not much detail. There's not much description that I can give you. As they say, it is what it is. 650,000 American Airlines miles donated, of course, by American Airlines, who not only one of the main sponsors of this entire program, but in total, they donated, donated 1 million miles to the program. We had 350,000 earlier. This is a 650,000 mile package so we have a twelve thousand five hundred dollar bid i now need somebody to go thirteen thousand before we wrap this one up anybody in at thirteen thousand before we're out we're at twelve five going once we are at twelve five going twice are you ready 
Sold for $12,500, thank you, from Camilla's house. All right, we got another live auction lot as part of this, part of the program. Let's go on to live auction item number 14. Sail away, sail away, sail away. You can say that lots of time when you're out on the water for 15 days. The Scandinavian adventure aboard the Viking Sun in a deluxe veranda stateroom, folks. All the cruises that are part of Camilla's Gala auctions, it's not just any room. They're all veranda staterooms. We're going to get some new bids going here. I see some of the bids are coming in now. Even before I describe it, we got a bid of $6,400 from Derek. I want to make sure before we celebrate that, am I getting this last name right? Do we know Derek? Ferro? Ferreo. Okay, we're going to go with Derek Ferreo. We took a vote here in the studio, apparently. So, Derek, thank you so much. You've been a big supporter so far. You gave in our pledge from the hearts. So we appreciate that. And now you are the current top bidder of live auction lot number 14. So let's applaud Derek right there. We'll give him that round of applause. But I'll be honest with you, Derek, at this point, I hope you get outbid, all right? So I'm an auctioneer. This is what I do. Let me tell you about this package right here. 15 days Scandinavian adventure on board the Viking Sun in a deluxe veranda stateroom. Gaze upon Nordic splendor. Cruise deep cut fjords along the fabled Norwegian coast. Sail across the Arctic Circle where the midnight sun shines 24 hours a day. Then you'll follow the path of the Vikings from the remote beauty of the North Cape to the sun-swept Shetland and Orkney Islands of Scotland. Folks, you are out for 15 days you will see all and do all while you are there we had a $6,400 opening bid the retail value is pushing $16,000 and this one doesn't expire until guess when the end of 2023 three full years to use this package we have a $6,400 bid I now need somebody to go $7,000 is there a $7,000 bidder out there who wants this opportunity of a lifetime this was generously donated of course by Viking Cruises they won and I want and everyone in this room wants a $7,000 bid the only person who might not want a $7,000 bid yeah, it's Derek. I got you, Derek. <laughs> We're going to see what we can do for you, though. We got a $6,400 bid. Is there a $7,000 bid before we close it out? We're at $6,400 going once. We are at $6,400 going twice. Are you ready? Sold for $6,400. Derek Ferrero, thank you, from Camilla's house. Now... I will tell you, the live auction, of course, is a lot of fun. We love it. It's great. But this is also an amazing evening of great food, great delicacies, and great desserts. So it's dessert time, but that's not to say that there's not another great segment of live auction items coming. We've got that coming up in just a little while. We also want to remind you that if you want to get posted on our social media wall, please send in your photos. Post them to Facebook with the hashtag Camilla's Gala 2020. So show those, post those. We'll see them here. We want to show them to everyone and let everyone know that you are watching. But until then, until our next live auction segment, we're going to turn it back over to Lori in the kitchen. Hey, Lori. Hey, who wants dessert? Hey, who wants dessert? Hey, I want dessert. Hey, Chef Michelle, you know what I happen to know? You are a dessert girl. So I'm thinking you have something pretty special going on over there. Let's go to the kitchen. Welcome back, everyone, for the moment that I've been waiting for, dessert. So to me, it might be the, the sweetest moment in the evening, but of course, Bob Dickinson, you are the sweetest moment in the evening. Because of you, we're all here, and uh, Camilla's is what it is, and uh, you're incredible. So thank you to you for everything that you do. We love you, uh, and we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So you are the best, Bob. Keep it up. Uh, okay, let's get into our dessert, shall we? Uh, in this little crazy-looking container, we have a delicious banana Tres leches with um, creamy, uh, soak-filled uh, three milk cake, of course, and then your banana budino, topped off with some fresh cream and, of course, bourbon gel, because where would we be without, without a good jello shooter to end the evening? Right, Alex Montague? Don't get drunk on that bourbon gel, okay? So I thought it would be kind of fun. Uh, you have this little container here, and this little ramekin is filled with... Um, 
caramelized Rice Krispies. Yes, I know. I thought I would get a little frilly for the evening, uh, just like Lori has done all, all night long. So we are going to not only top with some fun Rice Krispies, but I am also going to slice some banana. So I wanted to put some fresh bananas into my tres leches. So you are going to be slicing your own banana. So you can slice it however you want to. I love doing it on a bias. Go ahead and tuck some slices of banana into your tres leches. Go ahead and top it with these fun little candied Rice Krispies. And if you don't mind, just join me with a spoon and dig right into this delicious tres leches. So let's go back to Lori at the Bank of America community room at Camilla's house to see how she's doing. Mwah! Sending you kisses, Lori. I got to be honest, I missed that entire course. However, I did hear something about bourbon. So Alex Montague, salute. <laughs> Riddle me this, OK? Um, I think that most of us have always known about Camilla's house uh, main campus. He, we drive by, by it on uh, the freeway all the time. But did you know that it's only one of 11 properties that Camilla's manages? I'll bet you didn't know that. So let's take a second. I want to show them to you now, okay? Offering a comprehensive system of care for persons who are poor and homeless, Camilla's House serves more than 1,700 men, women, and children daily through its 11 residential facilities and scattered site apartments located throughout Miami-Dade County. Emmaus Place is a transitional housing facility for young men between the ages of 18 and 23 who have aged out of the foster care system. The seven-unit housing program provides residents the support and services they needed to become independent adults while completing their studies. The Good Shepherd Villas provides 10 one-bedroom apartments to formerly homeless persons placed through scattered site permanent supportive housing programs. Brownsville Christian Housing Center is a 74-unit permanent housing program serving adult men and women who have come through Miami-Dade County's continuum of care and who are now ready to live on their own in a permanent housing setting. Lavery Place is a nine-story, 90-unit high-rise affordable housing project originally developed in partnership with the local developer. Camillus owns the property and provides housing in all 90 units, which includes 50 apartments set aside for formerly homeless. Somerville Residence is a campus-style facility that has the capacity to house up to 100 individuals. Populations served includes veterans and formerly homeless individuals. St. Rose is a 57-bed housing permanent housing program that provides shared housing for men and women who are formerly homeless. St. Michael's Residences is a 28-bed facility for single adults. Currently, the site is being used for quarantine and isolation for COVID-positive individuals. Camillus is proud to operate Verde Gardens, serving 145 families in permanent supportive housing. With the management of Verde Gardens, located immediately adjacent to our Mother Seton Village's Families Permanent Housing Program, we will become one of the largest homeless service agencies in the community as well as one of the largest providers of homeless family housing and services. I mean, it's really amazing as I sit here and look at my mock library and what they've done and gone to the lengths to make it a true library, not only to make sure that we look at some of the history of Camilla's house. And you see this picture up here, and it says the Camilla's house brothers of the Good Shepherd. This is the first Camilla's house building that there ever was. And now think about what it's grown to, what you've just seen, those 11 properties and how amazing it is and the great work they're doing in this community. And then as this wall gets continued to be viewed by you all at home, the American Airlines logo and the 11 Miami, two of the main sponsors of this event here this evening. So we've come a long way from this one building to having major sponsors like this, 11 buildings on our campus. So we certainly are moving mountains, so to speak. We want to reiterate over and over about our social interaction with you all. 
So anyone who's sitting out there watching our event tonight, we would love to see pictures of you doing just that. So we've got our social media wall. We'll check in on it at the end of the show. But we want to make sure that you are using the hashtag uh, Camilla's Gala 2020. And also you're posting that not only to your Facebook page, but put it on the Camilla's Facebook page as well. And that's really the way that we can get a chance to see it here in the studio and show it on our social media wall. So uh, that is where we will stand as we go into this last part of the live auction program. This last part of the live auction program has got some great items in it. And one of those items is in another one of our amazing Dutch auction dinners. And this one is really special. And as we do with all the special auction items, we started off with a great song. So give, give me that next song. California dreaming on such a winter's day. California dreaming. Why California? Because we are taking you and giving you some of the finest wines from Rutherford Bench, historic ground zero for Cabernet fruit. But it's not the wines, it's really the wine maker. It's Rob Greer who will be leading a tasting of his wines at a dinner for 10 at Bob Dickinson's house. This is another one of those dinners where you're buying a seat at the dinner. There's only four seats left at this particular dinner table. Each one of those seats is $2,000 each, which means we've sold 10 of them to this point. The highly sought after and highly allocated Greer Cabernet Sauvignon is sourced exclusively from Rob's three acre vineyard in the heart of frame, famed Rutherford Bench, which is what I mentioned just a moment ago. The dinner will feature library vintages of Greer with amazing magnums of 1980, 1985 Krug Champagne to start with other goodies from Bob's cellar. It is an evening not to be missed. So I talked about the fact that we had 10 of those seats at that table to begin with. Six of them have sold already, which means we have four seats left. I can do that math for you all very, very quickly. If you want one of those seats at that dinner table, they're $2,000 and it's all done through your bidding device. When you pull up that auction item, you'll see lot 15 has 10 different buying options. All of them are $2,000. If you want one of those seats, hit that uh, place max bid button. The max bid and the only bid on this auction lot is $2,000 and we will sell that one out. We will keep that open for a little bit longer so anyone can buy into that who would like to. So that's live auction 15. Let's go ahead and move on to live auction 16. Gibson, give me that next song. Uh, you want to be glamorous? You want to live that high falutin lifestyle? You can do it aboard Crystal Luxury. The Crystal Cruise Line Luxury Voyage, a luxurious all-inclusive cruise for up to 14 days. The Crystal Serenity or the Crystal Symphony. You'll sail in a deluxe veranda stateroom, of course, with your choice of a wide selection of global itineraries. We're going to take this one $500 at a time, Spencer. But understand, Crystal luxury is personal to them. You can choose your itinerary. Athens and Bali and Barcelona and Belfast and Copenhagen. We need $8,500 for this cruise valued at $13,000. Hong Kong and London. Keep listening to some of the ports. Miami, of course, Monte Carlo, Mumbai, New York, Quebec, Reykjavik, Rome, San Juan, Singapore, Stockholm, Sydney, Venice, anywhere you want to go, you pick from their itineraries and you are all in. Your luxury cruise includes gratuities and many premium and non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages and it doesn't expire for two years. Plenty of time to go on your cruise. So I got an $8,000 bid right now from Derek, who has hooked us up so much throughout the program tonight and left so far with some great auction packages and some great donations. So again, Derek, thank you so much for that. We now need $8,500. Who wants in at $8,500? Is there a donor at $8,500? Anybody want to go one time? Who's going to go $8,500? Anybody want in at $8,500? Anybody want to go? Who's going to go one time? Anybody want to go? Anybody want in? Who's going to go one time? Anybody want in? Who's going to go? Anybody want in? Who's going to go one time at $8,500? Anybody want to go? We're going to close it out at $8,000 and unless anybody else hits that bid button, we got that $8,500 bid there. We also got a $9,000 bid there. I now need $9,500. I now need $9,500. Apparently a little bid chanting works pretty well. I'll do it again. Who's going to give me $9,500? Anybody want to go one time? I need somebody to go. Who's going to go one time? Anybody want in $9,500? I know some people are thinking about it. Is it Derek who was in at $8,000? Is it Bloss2893, another login name, at $8,500? We got it at $9,500 from Derek. Thank you, Derek. Who's going to go uh, $10,000 now? 
Mr. Singerman, we're looking at you. You were in at 9,000. We now need somebody to go 10,000. Is there a $10,000 donor out there one time? Who's gonna go before we close it out? I know some people are thinking to themselves, this auction is coming to a close. Only a few more items left and I need to make sure that I get one. You've only got this one and two more. So I now need a $10,000 bid. Does anybody want in at 10,000 before we close it out? We are at 9,500 going once. We are at 9,500 going twice. Are you ready? We got a $10,000 bid there from Bloss 2893. So Derek and Bloss and Singerman and Derek are going back and forth and back and forth. Who's gonna get in at 10-5? Is there anyone at 10-5? And by the way, I know I'm gonna get out of the light and get a little out of focus, but I'm looking at you. No, no, I, you gotta take me because I wanna look at right at them into the camera. It's Singerman and it's Derek and it's Bloss all going at it, right? It can be a little blurry, it's okay, because I'm looking right at you, right through this camera, right? So we got a $10,000 bid. We now need somebody to go 10-5. Who's gonna go 10,000 on the final? my mark and make our way back to it. Who's going to go 10-5 before we close it out? The AV crew here is like, man, Jason, let us just put that slide back up so we can get everything back in focus. But we got a $10,000 bid. Showtech is doing a great job making everything look good and sound good, but now we need a $10,500 bid. Who's going to go 10-5 one time before we close it out? We are at 10,000 going once. Bloss 2893, you have stared down the bear and it looked like you've won because I don't think Derek or Singerman or either one of them are coming back. You're at 10,000 going twice. Are you ready? Sold for $10,000 to Bloss2893. Thank you from Camilla's house. All right. We've got two more live auction items to go. Let's go ahead and kick off that next live auction song. Oh, Mexico, you sound so simple. All right, we've got it, folks. This is Cabo, Los Cabos, the penthouse suite. And I will tell you, as beautiful as that picture is of the wave running up onto the shore, you want to know what the penthouse is going to look like, right? So I'm going to do my best to paint a beautiful picture for you. We're going to have three couples enjoy, enjoy a luxurious one-week stay in a three-bedroom, three-bath penthouse in Los Cabos. This apartment has two master bedrooms with king size beds, private baths. The third bedroom, understand how that's going to work. It's got two queen beds in it, but understand that it too has a private bath. So three bedroom, three bath. The penthouse is 3,650 square feet. The living room, the dining room, the full kitchen, the laundry room, the washer dryer, the game room. The, the property has extravagant cascading pools and spas, the poolside shaded grilling terraces, indoor outdoor fitness facilities, the lighted tennis court, and a pro putting green. Folks, I can also promise you that what Andres Toros is willing to guarantee is good weather while you're there. <laughs> okay, maybe that's stretching a little bit, but you know what Cabo is, it is good weather and it is beautiful. We've got a top bid right now of $3,250. We need somebody to go, $3,500. Who's in at $3,500? Is there a bidder who wants to get this auction going to get a little action going? We do have it. We got a $3,500 bid right there at $3,500. We need to send to go $3,750. I had Christy M in at $3,250. We got Katie BB in at $3,500. Who's going to go $3,750 one time? Is there a bidder at $3,750? This one doesn't expire till the end of 2023. Three full years to go. What I'm asking for at this point, understand because it's set up for three couples who want to go to Cabo, we're looking for that bid of $3,750. I'm looking for $1,250 a couple. That's a deal, right? For a full week in this gorgeous apartment, almost 4,000 square feet. We got a $3,500 bid. Who's going to go with $3,750? We're going to close this one out at $3,500 unless somebody hits their button now. We got it at $3,750 for Christy M. And I need $4,000. What I would tell you all is as I sit here now and as I call out these bid levels, understand that don't rely on your Wi-Fi. Don't rely on your cell phone signal, wherever you're bidding from. Rely on that thumb to hit that button to get that donation in. So Christy M is my top bidder at $3,750. Who's going to go $4,000? Is Katie BB coming back? That's bidder $114. Are you coming back, Katie, one time at $4,000? We're about to find out because we're at $3,750. We got it now. We got a new bidder now. Hector M. Lima is in at $4,000. Who's going to go $4,250? I'm going to move quick on this one because I know there's people ready to bid. We're going to let them bid quick. We're at $4,000 right now. The estimated retail value of this is $8,000. 
I'm looking for 42.50. We got it from Katie Beebe now at 42.50. I now need 4,500. We're at 42.50 going once. We are 42.50 going twice. Hector, don't lose it over $500. He's not going to. We got it at $4,500 from Hector M. Lima 109. We got 47.50 from Christy. Oh, she's not going to let her, this one get away. So Christy and Hector and Katie are all going at it right now. Who's going to give me $5,000 for this one right here? It's still a deal when you look at three couples going together. I needed a $5,000 bid. We got it at $5,000 from Hector. Thank you. At five, who's going to go 52.50? Is there a bidder out there at $5,250? We're about to find out, because if not, we're going to close it at $5,000. We are $5,000 going once. I'm going to take a deep breath and let you all think about it again. We're at $5,000 going twice. I now need $5,250. Christy, are you going to get in one more time before we wrap it up? Are you ready? Sold for $5,000. How about that? Thank you from Camilla's house. All right, here we go. We are down to our final three. Fire that song off. I love that Gibson. Let it rock. How do you get that party started? How about a case of perfection? I love the little note on the screen that you see right there. Why settle for less? Yeah, I mean, why would you? If you can have perfection, why would you take anything less? The value of this auction lot is upwards of $9,180. We already have a bid of $8,000. I now need somebody to get in $8,250. Is there a bidder at $8,250 for this case of perfection? Who's going to get in at $8,250? We, we came out strong with our first bidder at $8,000. <coughs> me. Who's going to go $8,250? I'm not quite sure anyone's thinking they're going to go $8,250 now. $8,000 might have scared them away right off the top, right? There are 12 bottles, a case of perfection. Why settle for anything less when you can have these vintages? Many of them 30 plus years old. All the way up to the vintage from 2012. We're at $8,000 going once. We're at $8,000 going twice. Bidder 107 is about to stare down the bear and win it big by bidding big first. We are sold for $8,000. Thank you from Camilla's house. All right. Two more packages to go in our live auction. And I will tell you, I know we've talked a lot about our silent auction this evening and letting you know when that was going to close. You've got about 30 minutes left in the silent auction, so we'll talk to you about the logistics of that as well. But you know what? We've got two packages left to go. Gibson, you got another song over there for me? I mean, this event talks about raising the roof, right? This song makes you want to raise the roof. This is the foodie's choice, the Oceana Cruise, 10-day Mediterranean cruise, the finest cuisine at sea. We're going to make this $500 increments, please, Spencer. It's a veranda stateroom, includes all your taxes and fees. You've got two full years to use this cruise, donated, of course, by Oceana Cruise Lines. It doesn't expire for two years. What we'll do here on the 10-day Mediterranean cruise featuring the finest cuisine at sea is open up the bid at less than 50% of the value. I got a $4,500 bid on that. I need somebody to go five. Is there a $5,000 bidder out there who wants to get things rolling for us one time? We're at $4,500. I now need somebody to go 5,000. Is there a $5,000 bidder? We're at $4,500, folks. 10 days at sea. The way this math breaks down, I'll do it for you. At $5,000, when you give me that bid, you are getting $500 a day for two people on this quality of cruise line. That is unheard of. And think about it also. At $5,000, you're supporting Camilla's house and the mission of this organization that works so hard for those in this community that today, more than ever, needs that support. So we got a $4,500 bid. Is there a $5,000 bid? Who's going to help us out here? We're at $4,500. Who's in at $5,000? I got a $5,000 bid. Derek has come back again at $5,000. Thank you, Derek. Who's going to go $5,500 now? Is my original bidder, bidder 107, going to go $5,500? Who's going to go? We're at $5,000. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up and see if there's a flurry here at the end, right? Because I know there's some people who are sitting at home thinking about it. 
I got a bid there. Singerman's in at 5,500. I now need $6,000. I now need $6,000 to keep it going. We had bidder 107 at 4,500. We had Derek at 5,000. We had Singerman, which I'm assuming is from Burger Singerman, right? Wouldn't we assume that? Sure, we got that one, right? So Paul is the first name. Always dangerous when the auctioneer knows the first name. So Paul, thank you for helping us out. We're at 5,500 with Paul Singerman. Uh, that's bidder number 147. Who's in at 6,000? Is there a $6,000 bid up there? You know what happens when the hand goes up here? You gotta put me back on camera so they can see the hand up here though. When you put the hand up there, I got you Derek, I went too quick on you there, right? When I put my hand up here, that means we're about to wrap it up. But that's how we get another bid right there. Derek is in at $6,000. We gotta go 6,500 now. Is there a $6,500 bid out there? We had bidder 107 at 4,500. Derek came in at 5,000. Paul Singerman was in at 5,500. And now Derek has come back at number at $6,000. So we now need a $6,500 bid. Paul Singerman, you would be up next, right? You're so-called on deck. Every time the new batter comes up to the plate, we tell who's on deck and who should be placing the next bid. So we had a $5,500 bid from Paul Singerman. Derek is now in at 6,000. Who's in at 6,500? And this arm is gonna go right here because here's what we're gonna do. We're about to wrap it up. We are at $6,000 going once. And as I'm starting to count this down, I'll tell you that we've got one more live auction item after this, so don't miss out on this one if you think you want to make sure that you get one. Did I call going once already? Should I do it going once again? Give them a little more time with going once. All right, we're at 6,000 going once. We are at 6,000 going once. We are at 6,000 going once. I believe in you, Paul. I know you can do it. We're at 6,000 going once. Going twice. Are you ready? So thank you from Camilla's house. Derek, thank you so much. Bitter 119 wins another auction lot. Awesome, awesome job. All right. We now have our final live auction lot. It is item number 20, and I know we got a good song queued up for this one, right? Why not? Vacations and wine. That's what these auctions are all about here with Camilla's house, especially this one. This is one week cruising the upper or lower Mississippi River, the Ohio River, the Tennessee River. Jose Nazar is already in with a $4,000 bid. We're gonna put Jose, if he wins this auction lot, in a veranda suite, because that's what Camilla's house does. It's all verandas. The private balcony, of course, this one donated by American Queen Steamboat Company. This is the American Duchess Steamboat. It's a floating masterpiece. I love that terminology, a floating masterpiece. It's the American Duchess. The boutique style riverboat offers exquisite dining, beautiful decks, exceptional amenities, some of the largest accommodations anywhere on any river around the world. And this one doesn't expire for two years, once again, so you got plenty of time to use it. So what we'll do, the value on this one, upwards of $10,000, generously donated by American Queen Steamboat Company. We've got a $4,000 opening bid on this. Who's gonna go 4,500? Is there a bidder at $4,500 one time? I got a $4,000 bid. Believe me, folks, this is the last one of the night, so if I need to wrap it up quick, I can. I can take a breath. I can take a drink of water at some point. It's coming, I promise. I keep telling my body it's coming. We're going to see how quick it's going to happen. We're at $4,000 to bidder $136 on the American Duchess Steamboat. Who wants to get in at $4,500 knowing that it's a $10,000 value and knowing that you have two full years to use this package? We're about to find out if we're going to be one and done in this package. We're at 4,000 going once, the arms up in the air. We're at 4,000 going twice. Are you ready? So thank you from Camilla's house. What I'll do is I'll tell you that we sold it for $4,000 to Jose Nazar. That's bidder 136. Now. We've got a little housekeeping to do. Do we have some new things over there to show? I love it. We're going to go over to Lori in just a moment. But I will tell you, over the next few moments here, what we're doing is we're tallying all of our numbers. Because in a moment, we're going to come back and announce our total money raised. Understand that the silent auction is going to close in 25 minutes. So you've got plenty of time to get in those bids. So for those of you who've been scurrying to get the live auction bid on and want to get back to the silent auction, you can do that. So you've got time to do that. We're going to announce our total money raised with an understanding that there will be more bidding in the silent auction coming. But we want to make sure everyone has a chance to take a look at that silent auction. But without further ado, that's the extent of the French that I know. I'm going to turn it over to Lori. Take it away, Lori. Hey, look at us. We're in front of the social wall right now. And what we're doing, <laughs> we're... Pausing for the causing, 
Janet is on the telly right now. Bing! Any minute now, she's going to have it. Look at the wall. Pardon my back for a second, okay? But look at this. Look at the gorgeous pictures. Look at you, Chip. You're adorable. I love it. Hey, look at who's cooking in the kitchen. Do you guys see You do. You have matching aprons. Let me see some more people up here. I love you guys for sending these in. This is fabulous. Guess couldn't help but love the cooking of Chef Michelle Bernstein. Well, of course. How can you go wrong there? Let's see. Who else is here? Hello. Oh my God. I would have chopped off all my fingers trying to do that one. <laughs> Kudos to you. That looks fabulous. Who else is here? Let me look around. Let me look around. I know we have more folks. Come on. I saw some of the, I saw some of the gals a little bit earlier. Where am I gal? Ah, <laughs> there you are. Thumbs up, my friend. Thumbs up. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're back in that kitchen. You guys, have, you got it going on, don't you? <laughs> they really do, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, thank you so much like, for participating in this. This is so fun because in the world of, of the virtual, we don't get that kind of interaction. So when you reach out to us like this, it makes us feel like we're with you. It's like one of those little virtual hugs. So <laughs> thank you so much for posting this because we have no clue what's going on in your <laughs> homes. And tonight is a night that we really do want to know. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How are we doing, Janet? Oh, we're here. We're ready. Oh, we're here. And I'm rambling on forever. And we're waiting. Yeah, let's <laughs> rock and roll. The cue is when I'm standing here. I'm standing here. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Are you done with your toss already? I am so done. All right. Well, then yeah. I'm going to take it over because I've got some great news to share. And if you thought a moment ago, Lori, that you wanted to give a virtual hug to our viewers and our attendees, our donors, our supporters, yes, it's nice that they participated via the social media wall. But when I announce our dollar amount total that we were able to raise here for Camilla's house, you may go run and hug the camera, hug the screen so much, right? Because listen, in this virtual world, it is a new world that we are in. And for any gala out there to raise a million dollars, it is a huge accomplishment. And this gala did just that. Now, don't applaud just yet because I got some more work to do to tell you how much money we raised. Because we raised, yes, more than a million dollars. We raised more than $1.1 million. We raised more than $1.2 million. We raised more than $1.3 million. We raised more than $1.4 million. <laughs> What we did during tonight's Hope for All Gala is raise $1,424,285. That is an awesome... <laughs> now, now, what I will tell you... As, as much celebrating as we will do here, and what I will also tell you is that in about three or four minutes, you're going to see one heck of a celebration in this studio. So don't go anywhere just yet, because to get ready for that celebration, I'm going to turn it over to the chairman of the board emeritus of Camilla's House to help us wrap up the program. Here is Bob Dickinson. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to interrupt your dinner, but Michelle is standing by to say goodbye. Take it away, Michelle. What can I say, Jason Alpert, what an auctioneer. Wow, you did an amazing job. Lori, I love you. Bob, you are the best. I just, I'm honored. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of wordless and speechless right now. Uh, thank you, Camilla's. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Lori, for allowing me to just be part of this. I hope you all have enjoyed this multi-course delicious meal that you, of course, took such a big part of. Mwah. I love you all, and I will see you next year. And Michelle, mwah, through my mask, thank you to you too. You are a rock star tonight. Speaking of rock stars, how about this guy right here? 
Give me the old virtual high five. Virtual high five. That great was job. not only was it a lot of fun, but listen, Camilla's house is so great to work with. Not only because the event that you're able to put together, but it's really about the people who are through that lens right there, Absolutely. right? The people who are watching and supporting this organization. Thank you for all that you do to support Camilla's house in this community. Absolutely. So on behalf of myself and Jason and the entire Camilla's house staff and the more than 1,700 clients that we serve. Thank you from our hearts, and we wish you all a spectacular holiday season. Now let's dance. Good night, everybody. Hey! It's go time. <laughs> DJ! Tonight.